So instead, we're gonna see that I'm committing crimes against humanity <laughs> by calling the crap I make. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I should put some some appropriate music to play. I actually downloaded some stuff. So it's just not me talking nonsense the entire time. some more. Okay, 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 okay. That should be fine. Now the poses. We can draw her floating like this. There's this little kick pose. Shooting that big ice here. Uh, just vibing. I wasted more time. I was gonna play the game just for an hour, so Sherry and the others would have an idea what what the game was about. Or just people passing by because I don't. I don't think many of the people that actually follow me know anything about Juhu. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to go for one of the easier poses. So either this or this. So I guess I should just close those. Could use this. But she's just gonna be in the background if the others maybe one of the normal poses makes more sense. And as you can guess that picture has like a secret. And I guess I should include that? Also, not sure how many how people are gonna feel about that. <laughs> I mean, she's just kind of short, right? And yeah, let's just go. We're gonna have to draw her figure, anyways. Because I, but yeah, I can't show this sketch here. Uh, oh, it's gonna copy the sketch later. Did I? No. Did I move sketch? Not here either. The last thing I drew, it's a 
so far. But it's the more anime girl version of a boss from the other game is stream and Oh there's a the sketch later. Like yeah. You just think drawing the character in very underwear is like an extra step, but not really, because you need to draw it to so you can see the character's anatomy and where the clothing is gonna fall and stuff. That's actually like super easy to do. And that's why I was blocking links before. Bash viewers on Marissa's ass dot, dot com. Get out of here, bot. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, so let's just go for it. Drawing isn't even hard. I mean, I have half a brain and you can do it. So, it just take us a long time. So, first thing we do is like. Oh wow, that happened. Script a malfunctioning? Ah, oh, there we go. It's like lost the pressure sensitivity thingy for a second there. First thing you always do is just draw a circle. And from there you can go anywhere. This could be the sun. Uh, it could be... what else? It could be a fireball. No oh, wait, the sun is a fireball. Not really. Okay. In this case it's gonna be the character's head. Uh, she's just gonna be vibing. I don't think I need to line her up with anyone. I guess I could put her more or less in the middle, so I'm just gonna put a line there to mark the center of her head. And another line ish about this size. And I'm gonna mark out. Uh, uh, not her, yeah, her torso. Uh, but deep cage, you just can make a square. And I'm gonna go about this more or less the size of the head because that's that's like the proportions I usually do. If you wanna draw a character, you wanna go for. Her total size being h times the size of the head, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, you know, it's too, too big. But you can get away if you have them be like 6 or 7 heads tall. And that's usually what some people do when trying to draw a character in a more cutesy manner. We make her body a little more stumpy than it should be. Uh, now which pose to use? Because here she's just kind of sitting there. I mean she's more neutral here. I guess I'm gonna go for this. Ah! 
actually, it's been a while since I threw anything, I should charge these in st stuff that's a little more complicated, so I remember how to do things. So like, if you draw her with her arms crossed like that, I don't think I ever tried that at all. Because I'm just a beginner artist, so I'm not a professional. Could be cool to try to figure that out, so maybe you can mix up those poses. No, yeah, that, that pose is already dead. And... That's the arms on her hips. So I'm just gonna repeat this. Uh, just leave this here because this looks super cute. We're gonna just mark another head here. I think that might be too long. She's gonna end up looking like a long cat. And when drawing characters, one is a trick to do to draw female characters to draw her hips a little bit wider. I guess for Cerno, yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. If it's a girl, you draw her with wide hips. If it's a dude, we have to make the shoulders wider. See how that like looks like a normal dude, but this already looks like a chick. Circles to mark more or less her joints. And here, I like that kind of just going down like this. There's her shoulders, her arms cross. Over here is gonna be the same thing. But her, uh, her legs are flaring out more. Uh, same thing going on here. Very still, very neutral. Uh, so, uh, so if it, yeah, if we do something like this, it doesn't really convey that sassy external energy, I guess. So I'm gonna draw them coming out. At a wider angle. How long does that need to be again? A little bit longer on a head, head and a half, more or less. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, that's fine. Here. 
But yeah, look at it. That looks more like a power pose. Huh! Maybe I could just see how that poser is. Scream on that letter. For the fun of it, and it kind of works. Uh, but I kind of want to do the finger, her arms crossed. So I'm going to mark her shoulders. And... Ah, the problem is that those sprites are very stylized. It's very chibi. So it's... For somebody who is learning, it's probably gonna get more in the way. <laughs> but it's gonna help. Uh, but no, it's just... The head is very oversized. But the body has the right proportions from one bit to the other. Like, yeah, her upper arm is going down to where her belly button should be. Her elbows are on the same height, and her hands go down to reach her hips, so that's fine. And like the arms are more or, like, more or less crossed, pretty much about this height. So getting the rainbow right is gonna suck. <laughs> That's why you do a sketch first, so you can see what works and what doesn't, before you actually do all the details and stuff, so you don't waste a lot of time trying to fix things. That's like, oh, okay, this arm is fucked, I can just... Let's do this, bam. Like something like this, and super easy to fix. Uh, yeah, that's, that's... No, that's gonna be have to go way closer to her body because, yeah, now it's more like she has her, her hands in yeah, a prayer or something. So maybe let me think about this wrong. Because kinda of hold your arms in front of her body when you cross her not off to the side. So we're gonna have to mess with for shortening. And okay. We did just the idea that something coming towards the screen is gonna look shorter. But it's also gonna look bigger. And yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that's the pose. And... That arm is... Can I have her hand coming down here? And for this one, her hand is gonna come front like this. And that looks like a pretty good sketch. That'll be a decent enough starting point. Should move it up some so it's more center on the screen.
I just got little ice crystals and stuff around her or whatever. But I told you before that you draw the characters and not again. Ah, I could have drawn her hips a little bit wider. Or I can make her hip cage a little bit smaller. No, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just a tiny little bit. She doesn't look as potato -y. Oh, this thing is going crazy right now. Showing people actually going online. I do. We're gonna go for the anatomy. I just picked this bright head color to use on, on this sketch for that. So I can actually see each bit of this sketch separately, separately more easily when we're actually going for the line art. And I just keep this. I don't know why it works so much about making this the lines on the sketch look right. It's a sketch, no birds gonna really see it. But nobody other than the people who watch the stream or the board on YouTube. And yeah, 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 to go down like this. Upper arm again. I think that's gonna be more like I'm gonna be seeing more of the side of the arm. Oh boy, I'm having issues drawing that line. Hold on. Let's try something else. So, her bicep is gonna be here. It just should be more. a little more hard on the out. No, now it looks like she doesn't have a shoulder. Yeah, that works. So, her elbow is here. So her arm is gonna go like this. And she's ending up with some really skinny arms. Uh, yeah, that's too skinny. Like, even for her sternum, that just looks too skinny.
Okay, that's looking a little bit nicer. But now she has Popeye arms. So, yeah, that works. shapes over here. Uh, so this arm is more like crossing over. Now it is crossing, but it's over the other one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker. I was about to say that music sounds very Scottish, but like Seki Bunky is a thingy. And okay, she's not a Dula Dulahan. Oh, there we go! It's the songs here, Sarno Steam. Yeah, let's go! But like, they still call her a Dulahan, so she. I guess you'd be Irish, not Scottish. Uh, but she has head hair, so then that counts. And it's from more or less the same region. Would be from the same region. <laughs> I forgot what, what Yokai she's actually based on. I know that Blind Teeth from. Links to the past, Link to the past is the same creature. Because it does the same thing of having multiple heads that fly around shooting lasers. But it but I can't remember the name of the creature. Okay. His hands are just gonna go there and not actually see it. And this kind of saves me the trouble of having to draw hands. Except that her other hand is gonna be coming out like this. So now I need to draw a hand in a very unfamiliar pose and angle. <laughs> So I shot myself in the hand. Oh no. Uh, Her waist is gonna come down like this. Uh, that's a little bit too thin. Yeah, that works. And flares back on. Uh, that's her hips. The belly buttons. Or down like that. And when we have. Ooh. More like this. Yeah. We have the thighs. I should probably. <laughs> Open the stream on my phone so I can actually follow chat because now I'm on full screen.
and I actually need to see what's going on. Oh, I can actually see chat now. Ah, I'm to it. Not my phone switches off the <laughs> Twitch window by itself. Freaking piece of shit phone, is it? Okay, it's a good phone, but. Kind of old by now. Cool. Chat is now open. Where, are, where did we stop? Actually, that's. Actually, come at the wrong angle. No, that's that's fine. Those are going to be really far away. That's looking more like at an angle, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, it's gonna look better if I just. I think that's working somewhat. This leg is coming out at a different angle than this one. So like, I'm gonna fix that a little bit. Coming more straight down. But I guess that's because of where it placed her hips. Yeah. Not kinda looks like we're too far apart. Until here, those are looking kind of the same, so it was when I did this that I goofed something up. Okay, 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 okay. 
Now that works. Pointing all the way down. Yeah, more or less this. That looks longer than it should. Symmetry tools, at least on this cat. We have so concerned things being all lined up and looking, looking symmetrical and stuff, looking the same. Sort of is always a splash as a table. Let's use a tiny little ship. So, like, I don't need to go and add that there. Now that I think about it, her arms are still looking super thin. Or it's just her, her high right arm over here. a little more mass to it. Yeah, this one looks okay. This one is looking too thin. But yeah. Yeah, that looks about the same. I think that shoulder is coming out too much. Uh, almost there. Bit is coming out too high.
Oh yeah, now the little Baka is looking uh, like a very pretty looking woman. <laughs> I should probably have saved it up already. Who would have said we don't doesn't have to show on street? Before. Uh, the thing about Cerno and I mean, my reason we re removes outfit kind of changes depending on who is drawing them. Cernal's outfit is pretty much always the same thing. Always the same blue, long blue, blue dress with the with the white undershirt. Yeah, it doesn't matter who draws her, it's always the same thing. Right? The only difference is that sometimes she has a blue ribbon on her head, sometimes the ribbon is green. And... The size of the color of the, sh the, color of the shirt? But okay, it's the same variation, so I don't know how we're gonna do the little fun service thingy with that. Without pulling out her entire dress. Maybe we could just break it into two parts? Yeah, because if I try to do a boobo window like I did with Maris over here, it's not gonna work. Those are one, she's flat. Joe, her arms are covering up most of her chest anyway, so... That little opening over here showing basically nothing is not gonna do anything. Uh, so let's go for the parts that we already know are not gonna change. Certain soap spread has the color coming down like this. There's the Great Fire Fairy Wars one, there's a color pretty much all the way up here. And then it has another bit that goes over her dress. Either one works. Sorry. 
die. That's very easy. I'm terrible at pronouncing G8. That is her tie. The thing that you tie around your, your neck. Uh, there is this puff his leaves that are mandatory for any true who character. Actually, gonna add a little bit of interest here. It's just if I draw it like this, where her dress has little, little fin straps on that opening where she has an undershirt. She's just gonna have her skirt coming out like normal. Motherfuck! Almost there? Yeah, that works. And I'm gonna draw that wish for the one. But usually it's because it's gonna be. Kind of the same style that they are getting on, on the other two. Whoever have some, whoever skirts are like really short. They're like, they're like wearing mini skirts. Instead of the usual super long dresses that you see on every two character. Just a sketch I don't need it to be perfect. Uh, oh, she does have the little frills coming up here. I'll just mark that out. Not what happens to Final Fantasy. It's the little white triangles on her dress, like the red triangles on a white mage robes. And I really had my own little touch of this what the fuck. As all the other have like tie socks. Let's give the same socks to her. Probably mark out her shoes a little bit better. Because this is meant to be like this get for her coding, anyways. Uh, she's technically not wearing shoes. And she. Not wearing shoes on Zoom's art anyway, as well. And yeah, most pictures of Sun or she has no shoes on. Only her socks. I guess you don't need shoes if you fly because you're not you're never gonna step on the ground. 
So I don't need to worry about your socks getting dirty. So I guess that's fine. That looks like it's at the wrong way angle. Maybe if I throw it like uh, it's almost. No. Let's see. Okay, first coming dead on like this, it will look like this. So it's gonna be more like. I'm trying to think here. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, that kinda looks the way it should. Uh, a few things that I'm gonna add that it shouldn't be there, or have the socks. One thing that I put on both before was gloves. the least sense to for me to add because I don't match the, the aesthetics that we usually actually even put you know enforced knuckles on Cerno's ones because like she is the beloved tomboyish girl. So like her just giving somebody a knuckle sandwich out of nowhere makes sense. So if, of course she'd get the gloves that have studs on them. Because uh, actual brass knuckles are like forbidden and stuff, but it's just studs on her gloves. I guess you can see that they uh, have those open finger gloves that don't really make sense on a character that's mostly inspired by Lolita fashion, which is a, an actual fashion style popular in Japan, but you know that. And yeah, Puffy's leaves, frills everywhere. And yeah, what else? I guess I gotta do the bullcrap with the alternative version where she doesn't have her skirt. But how am I gonna go about this? Well, one is that the entire dress just goes away. 
Sledgehammer. Right on their shirt. It looks like it's gonna be a... It could be a bottom shirt? Kind of? Do they have these sleeves? So it's gonna look kind of like this. And that's probably the better solution. So it looks different from the other two. Not that I think about it. No, that's usually one of the ways people draw Marisa is that she's wearing a this sort of black vest over her dress. Because that actually looks cool. So here it kind of looks like Cern is wearing a blue skirt with the white on their shirt and another blue vest on top. Uh, I don't know, I think that would look cool, but doesn't make sense for her. But to at least make it make it look different, like it's my own version, which it already is. I don't think I ever saw her thrown like that. If I wear a two piece outfit instead of a one piece one. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna do that. So I guess this skirt would be going all the way up here. Really high waist skirt, so it's gonna look the same. And we then add the little fun service bits that we're gonna draw on a separate layer later ahead. The skirt is gonna go on a separate layer. So it's easier to toggle it on and off to save the two versions. That looks like something my grandma would wear. Yeah, that's that makes more sense. I'm gonna kind of just shape her hair and her hip on up top here. What does her bangs look like? One, two, three, four. Four parts divided in the middle. And more or less that. coming out like this to like frame her face. Okay. Come on, come out at the right spot. Thank you. Uh, 
Don't want her hair getting too long. Come on, go to the other side. Thank you. Don't look the same shape. Yeah, 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 that works. Oh wow, she's way too up top on the page. <laughs> don't think I have space to draw the rainbow. But on the bright side... As you can see, I actually use most of the canvas. There's no wasted space going on here. of the specifics of it later. Okay, that thing is actually huge. detail that would make sense for Serna to have on her hair that for some reason she doesn't is the classic hair, hair antenna the hair banana
so she can work as a Wi-Fi hotspot for Jin Sokyo. Yeah. But it make, but like, it would make sense for her to have an Ahogi. Because, you know, it's the idiot's hair that we call this little detail. And she's this sort of stubborn, airhead character. And you really see characters with tools being kind of like that. Like, very happy and energetic and... But kind of dumb? more sense for the, the larger bits to be front. Yeah. And it's not like changes too much about her. Here, let me put one here. Bam. Okay, that one's a bit too big. I drew it wrong. Like, yeah. Like, just a little bit, a little tuft of hair jumping off her head. Like... Okay, I'm trying to get some Wi Fi signal here. Somebody help me. <laughs> This sketch done. And this entire time you've been thinking I'm an actual person. Just an actual person using a computer, but in fact, I'm a potted plant and I'm dehydrating and I need water. So, give me a second for me to get water and I'll be right back.
Okay, okay, I'm back. Well, I guess now we go for the part where we actually draw stuff. But there's an asshole with a motorcycle making loud noise outside. That is perfect. And that plane right now is a cool steam. Uh, okay, my brush is set to how I actually use it. Uh, let's just go. Uh, this part is easy because you can just like more or less. Follow what I already did in this schedule so we can make it look a little bit nicer. Because this sketch can be super rough, the line I just to actually make it. actually make it look good and that's usually the most the most slow part that's not really the part that, that's the slowest that's just because we're trying to get everything to look right but uh, that's the part where we're gonna add all the detail. Concerned with a tiny detail. With her little hair banana that I gave her. No, we should cut it out like that. No, the problem is that down here it's going to straight. No, wait. Okay, I think I got it. this bit here because it looks like little stray hairs little stray hairs that are like jumping out of the main clump and that kind of bit uh, makes the drawings look a little bit nicer Like super tiny. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this sketch that down there just gonna go 
the little hair clumps are a little bit bigger. on this side as well so way to go Mizumi it's harder on yourself again and you are always complaining that you take too long to draw stuff instead of finding ways to make it drawing stuff a little bit faster you find ways to make it even slower <laughs> No longer like the dumbest character in the entire game franchise. <laughs> okay, Cerno is actually smarter when people give her credit. Okay, that's looking nicer, but this line is looking too strange compared to the other one. And it's squaring off her, her head somewhat. I think the issue is that those two are sort of misaligned completely. <laughs> and I don't think I can just fix that by just changing the lines. Because uh, now that's coming off at a, at a weird position and it looks a lot thinner than the other one. Cerno's hair. <laughs> I 
Sometimes she just doesn't grow because she she doesn't age. Uh, I don't think I've seen any character that uses scissors. Uh, but like, Sakura is good with knives. And she has short hair. And Remilio and Flandre also have short hair. So I guess it doesn't make sense if she cuts it for them. So like, maybe all the short hair characters just pop by the Scarlet Devil Mansion to get a haircut from Sakuya. Would be kind of funny. Please just pop there, uh, knock on the door, and be like, "Oh, fuck's sake! Is that another incident going on?" And no, she... we open the door, we're like. Hey, is Sakuya there? And my hair is getting too long. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with her little ears coming off like that. Yeah, no, I can probably get in there with a thinner brush to add some stuff. So I don't forget about it. I can get a, a brush that's more thin and I can like. No, that's not the way I want. what that looks like. Black and white doesn't look like much. Uh, but it's gonna be a nice little accent there. To have her a little... I guess I'm gonna make them gold then. Probably silver is gonna match the rest of her outfit better. But I'll just leave that, that down for now. And 
Ah, Hogan is pretty much in the way of the hero. I guess that, that's how it would be anyways. Her reboot looks different from the other characters, it doesn't have the white frills on it, on um, none of her art. But it, also, it is also a different shape, it's more like, it's more like this. Sort of a leaf shape. Definitely gonna end up looking like ears from from far away. Oh, motherfucker! Why, why is it so hard to make things symmetrical? Even would be like weaving somewhat, blown off to the side. on one side and that's make it harder to keep things symmetrical okay it's gonna be coming from here it's not gonna be doing this and then this that doesn't make sense we're just getting plain blown by the wind it'll be going more like this We 
it would be down here. Like the same way. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, it didn't do much to the ship. Okay. This so has the same sort of catchy shape. Uh, not exactly that. But now it looks more like it's looping around to tie on her hair and then come down here. And I had the wrong to select that. Some more to look like it's going actually going over her body, following its shape. Is there just something that's kind of there? And here's gonna be her hip on tie. Go up to here. The ribbon's like blowing off to the side, the tie is also very good. The same way. No, that's okay. That's the shape I'm looking for.
давайте рестарт. Сейчас таки покроем веса. И just got to the patch that's actually gonna be interesting. Lost my own drawing again. Hold on. I can do this. I've done this crap before. Okay. So, as I was saying, I'm gonna draw the cut for her. Not so best. It was addressed before. Way higher than on this cat. I just get to like about here. But I'm gonna be up here. And yeah, so that it goes kind of like restish. And here would be the the sleeves. And it was gonna go over or under. I guess it, I guess it makes more sense to go like this. Yeah, it's gonna be something like that. Okay, there's a mess of lines there that I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, there's like actually zooming. Okay, that looks fine. Not very round. It was looking kind of pointy because of the way I drew it. And no, it's too pointy. That's what I do with this whole stroke. Okay, that works. this down here not designs on the wrong spot if I do it like that
Get those to look the same like now. <laughs> oh, this sucks. One thing that sucks about drawing is that your eyes improve faster than your hands. So it gets easier for you to spot when you make a mistake or when something looks not the way it should, or not the way you want it to look. But it's way harder for you to actually fix that mistake you notice. Because uh, your hands still haven't caught up to where our eyes actually are. So it can be like, oh, this line is like going too straight or it's coming coming out at a weird angle, it's like uh, too curved. But when you try to, to fix it, and you keep drawing pretty much the same stroke every time because it, you know, we don't know how to do it in a different way. No worries, you just gotta come down. Those things, those puppy leaves, is that I just add a little, what do I call it, a little strap separating it to the top and bottom piece. And when you go into the thing that takes two billion years to draw on two who characters that is, all the little frills that we have everywhere on their outfits. Because uh, frills on uh, two who characters like belts on uh, on an RPG character, you, you can never have too many of them. And everyone has them somewhere. Oh, not everyone. I mean, it's, it's a generalization. Not, not every two who character look wears super freely outfits. Uh, but kind of like a common design trait. We're gonna have, if it's a character from Chuhu, we have Prius somewhere. Okay, now the harsh part. Gotta draw a 
times in a pose that I haven't done. I think ever. Or if I did, it was like a, a long time ago. It was a, I didn't really do it seriously because I was just... In the beginning, I was just trying to get used to throwing digitally, so I was just throwing random crap without worrying about getting it looking right because I just wanted to to learn how to actually use the drawing tablet but to control the weight of my lines how to actually get the strokes looking nice It's like like everyone else is learning to draw, they're gonna do something like this. It's just a bunch of tiny little push, brush strokes. And you end up with a drawing that looks super hairy and messy. And I just like something like this. If I have to draw a circle, you have to do something like this. But I pick it up on it and with enough practice I can draw it, you know, in a few strokes and it doesn't look as messed up. You can see, I don't think I can even draw like that anymore. <laughs> ah. It feels so nice to be able to say you forgot how to do things the wrong way. Shows that we've made progress. Well, to lose that ability to draw things very shitty, so. If you're a Pictionary for friends, they don't get all like, okay, you're showing off. Please stop, you asshole. Eh, I don't really have anything to show off. <laughs> Just a notch thing. When I just draw on when I look at something it feels like you can never do something like that. Uh but it's less a matter of you can never draw like like my homie does, I will never learn how to draw the game. Uh, I'll probably learn it eventually if I actually put the effort into it. Because like this skill, everyone can learn new skills. But you actually need to be into what you're learning. That's kind of the problem. Some people have school. They have a lot of difficulty learning because they're not actually interested in this subject. And something that a few teachers have issues with is that big Ow! My back! Oh, I was definitely sitting at a really bad position. 
but like I don't really don't know how or we're not even trying to make the class sound interesting. So people don't really pay attention. Cause come on, not the only one who just stays up at 3 in the morning watching random YouTube videos talking about medieval weapons or whatever. anime characters spend a long time introducing themselves and shouting each other's attack names only for the guy to basically give you a lesson on Japanese history and how samurai did things because uh, more like we had to wait for people to introduce themselves and going for a 1v1 So then we could like, we could, we could tell the, the treasurer or whatever, back at the, at the Lord's castle, about who we fought, so we could sort of get a bounty if we actually managed to kill the guy, and the more important the guy, the bigger the bounty. The more famous the guy, you also get more bragging rights. And if the guy names his attacks and tells you their name before he lets them out, it makes the stories he can tell a lot more exciting, so we're gonna pay attention to that. So we're like, oh, okay, dude. hold on, what didn't just tell me that attack is called or, oh. Oh, uh, it's like, oh, it's the 10 health slash, okay, 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 let me write that down, thank you, okay, now I'll get stabbed <laughs> and die. And then I, he, he goes tell this story for his teammates or his, for the rest of the or like the peasants or whoever wants to impress then he went about this tough guy he killed he can just go and then he used his fearsome 10 hells slash and then dodged and stabbed him in the throat and he, he died it sounds a lot cooler Yeah, I should probably draw those with a smaller brush. And I change tabs by mistake. I'm gonna have to come back here to pick colors and I forgot about Sinor's motherfucking wings. That also look different. I guess it's the only bit that looks different depending on the artist. Sometimes there's just gonna be a little ice shards floating off the distance. But on on his certain soko they're pretty big and looks like they're actually on her back.
me hide this cat. Okay, that works. Ooh, let me hit save. Oh shit, it's midnight. I don't have coffee, but I have more cookies. So that's nice. We can continue and... The rest should be easier. Just one string. I wanted to post it to do. No, it's not gonna take one string. I still need to do colors. I'm not done with the line art. And I'm still gonna need to do coloring and stuff. Because I, because I actually want to. Post is on September 9. Uh, let's see. 
but the that looks like they make that way longer. Is that not lining up? Okay. Now it's going to be more like this. straight yeah a bit somewhat of a curvature so it's a little bit nicer yeah, it kind of looks like it's over her body maybe the other way mm, I think that looks too long a little bit shorter. That kind of stuff can be a little bit hard to figure out. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm confused about my own drawing again. Hold on. Let me reorient myself. What do you have going on here? I uh, changed this so it's more like she has a vest on, on top of a white shirt. Okay. So normally we'd expect a vest to cut off like something like this. Eh. Yeah. I guess that looks too plain.
So what I'm trying to do is make a V-shape here. I'm having issues again. <laughs> Alright, I thought it would be quick. Because we're like halfway through the, through the line art. And the more messy parts behind us. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Probably look for reference for different types of vests. So I could so to know what to do for the like buttons and stuff. So I'm gonna do something like pretty basic. It's not how my drawings are very detailed to begin with.
sa tubig. Hmm? Uh, so I guess I'm gonna put another one over here. And that's probably gonna look pretty good. It's just little. I guess that's going to be my excuse for the golden earrings. Uh, but I can't see those having anything but a, but a very brassy color to them. We have that here as an as an, uh, as an accent color. We can have it in other places doing the same thing. Yeah, that kind of works. So if you have. We're gonna have these two accents here. And I also said she'd get studded gloves. So she could just sneakily have brass knuckles without anyone being able to say anything. If anyone asks of what's the deal with the studs, or just Decorative and having them in brass as well is gonna actually give the idea that it's just there for show. It's not that those studs are like made of steel, they're just coated in brass <laughs> to look nicer. And Serna is actually gonna break your jaw if she punches you with that. Oh yeah, that's the part that we get extra dumb. And I should have somebody throw several hawks at me for it. So problem there's a five second food down between throwing objects. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that over there. It's just the window bug. <laughs> okay, here you go.
Ok. Dai che ci sono i droni. Uh, we're gonna draw the actual skirt on a separate layer so we can top it on and off. So we're gonna have two versions of this. One where she's fully dressed and one where that is fun service. And one thing that we'll do for fun service. So that instead of drawing one full line like that and then I'd like to look up. That looks flat and boring. And it's something that I'm gonna mention on everything that I draw. Because I tend to draw characters in title outfits a lot. Is that if you really want to make that look like it's actually really tight in there, really squeezing the character. That you don't draw the line straight like that, overlaying like that. You draw the one stroke. You draw one stroke, like uh, I'm trying to talk a bit and I'm also really annoyed that I can't draw this part correctly, mother! Just go to the right place, please! Okay, 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 that works. As I was saying, You do it in two strokes. One stroke curving inwards like this, and then the other one kind of popping out like this. Not here at the joint, but further down, like the curve. Even if those two bits are in line, It's gonna look. It's gonna add this little indentation here. And now she's looking kinda chubby. But, like, that's kinda the idea. Is that she's squeezing this part in. And I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do the same thing over here, but they... yeah, I got this, I got this. Yeah. Just come on. Ah, Ugh. I'm zoning mood doing way too much. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. No. Come on, hand. I need you to cooperate. Oh, wow, that's going way too far. Okay. But I think I need to fix that anyway. Right. Plus she fell. And where is my... Okay. I actually got myself a lot of scene of Fumo. That she is the cutest, cutest thing ever. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. no. I uh, want a bucket of Cernos, just give me that. Uh, promise that a single single full moon is very expensive too. You can imagine how expensive it's gonna be a whole bucket of them. Even a knockoff of them. 
cara, Bryce. But it is worth it. I now have Fast Girl here on my lap watching me draw. She'd be probably like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but she's here. That's what counts. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. It's looking alright now. Uh... Oh, I'm actually looking at something. I don't remember what I did. Oh yeah, I still gotta figure out the ice crystals. I mean, her literal wings. Ooh. 
I should probably draw the overall shape of her leg before I go in with it then. Yeah. I'm putting the cart before the horse. Uh, haven't saved in a while. Nights, come on, brush. Thank you. And we just need to draw her tops. Uh, and almost there. It's gonna be a little bit harder to draw because she wears no shoes. So it's gonna be a little more detailed than usual. Uh, okay, let me just. I kinda need to draw it like this angle. Facing forwards. Uh, the rest of her body is facing forwards. Yeah, that works. And here her legs are just kind of dangling. Oh, it's not that slight angle. Her feet are coming off, they're not straight down. Uh, but this looks fine. Uh, let's actually draw the other one. Oh, what the fuck did I do here? Basic shape. And that looks a lot more, li more like it's facing forward. It is pointing pretty much downwards somewhat. Here's how I did the ankles, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just going like this. And when does that? Ah, uh, motherfucker.
Did that work? Yeah, it worked a little bit better than before. Uh, Tizan is looking a lot better though. So I got a prep story. Different things at different ends instead of just hitting the whole life button and going crazy with the with the paintbrush. Okay, 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 I kinda got it. The issue is the distance and stroke of those... The distance and length of those strokes here. Because if I have it like this... Yeah, it looks like the foot is going flat. So... I need to find the angle, but it looks like it's just going straight down, kind of. Because yeah, now it looks like it's an angle again. Uh, if I just do this, yeah, now it looks flat. So I need to do that, but. More hounded out? Oh, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think I figured it out. This is Christ. Confirmed that I can't really take for react commissions yet because they're gonna ask me to draw foot stuff and they're gonna be really picky about what their feet look like. That's just like their main thing. Everything up here are not gonna give a damn. They wanna sit down here. <laughs> uh, that foot looks a lot wider than this one. Well, we're gonna if we find the face, the shape some. gonna have the heel of a the heel of a shoe coming on from out here but you still have the, the heel of your foot and the way your foot shaped is not like this that's just a general shoe shape to fit every foot Uh, 
And if you have your if you're just wearing socks. Your toes are gonna actually show somewhat. Like yeah. It's hard to see if this cat on top. Yeah, 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 no, it looks like it's just a sock. So over here I have to redo this bit anyways, because it's looking kind of goofy. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Slightly. Um. Okay, I think about it. And then we have the rest of her foot that should be a little more curved. And it should be going. Straight down. She should also be coming more straight down. More like this. Cool. And, and the same sort of very is over there where you gotta have the toe popping up. That's popping up way too far. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little more subtle. So I don't zoom in so much on a picture. We are drawing it. But yeah, we're getting there. Almost there, almost there, almost there. No, that's off by a pixel. Okay. Yeah. I think I okay, good, good. 
not it looks the way it should. with her back to sit on curved over the desk like that Just chill, chill out for a little bit. I'm gonna stop spamming it. I mean it before, but I do have a Discord server. Hey bot, give me the server link. We push memes and stuff and like the well the right resolution version of all the crap that I draw is gonna end up on Pixie. But I end up post it on the server first. more people on the server to do art. Uh, Sherry that was here earlier, she makes little crochet octopi. Uh, I think, yeah, the, 
There is also Dr. Swiss in Porsche's art there when he does it. Uh, that has a Twitter link, and anyone who's in the server can push anything that they make themselves. And by they make themselves, they really mean with your own two hands or two feet or your mouth. Just don't take something you typed on an image generator and post that and say you made it. That's dumb, but it's, just, it's like a uh, Walk into McDonald's and order a Big Mac and then tell you that I made the Big Mac. <laughs> and then I'm a cookie and I looked away from it for too long and now it looks weird. Ah! Okay, this one looks fine, but this one doesn't. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's just. Your okay. little adjustment, so it looks more like the other one. And if you always fail, you can like. She has some really long legs, but her arms look really short. Not just the angle of the arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just the angle. I kind of goofed up on the sleeves up here. So it looks like our arms are coming down flat. So I'm gonna have to hit do that entire part, but I'm gonna finish down here before I go back up there. So we at least have something that's finished. Give her different looking socks. Well, I really like these ones. Side of the same thing. No, wait. Is that a Why do you upside down? A 
Okay. No, because it has a ribbon on the side, so it's not gonna look the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the box still doesn't give me the link. <laughs> I think it waits 15 minutes. But anyway, the link is on the is in the strain in the about section. Is it in the about section? No, it's not in the bot. Oh, there you go. I just the. Uh, command. Now consider this other stuff we make. Today, I have an hour and I haven't done, I haven't finished the line art, I haven't done colors. I need to, I need to fix the sleeves. But 
Victor will be back tomorrow to finish this. And yeah, it's gonna be definitely gonna be up on September 9th, Cerno's Day. To celebrate, to this, to sort of joke superbly. Uh, our little bed loved stoneboy girl. <laughs> to do with those sort of art memes and art challenges and stuff because sometimes it can be hard to think about what to draw and drawing something right away but if we go oh wait there's like October coming up, I'm gonna do October now. It's gonna be September 9th. It's Cerno Day, okay, we're gonna draw Cerno. I think I forgot about Miku's birthday. So you go draw and draw Miku. Uh, May 10th, we have Piccolo Day, so we will go and draw Dragon Ball stuff. I'll just see what's trending on, online and we do our own take on it. When you just need to draw something, be it just to, to practice, or because you want to draw, or even just to do you have something to post on whatever platform you, uh, you usually upload on? Just go for it. the dumb mean stuff. Because then you will have a starting point to know what to do. Like figuring out what to do is usually the hardest part. I'm gonna just go. Because uh, once you have that starting point, you can just pick a direction and start running towards it and then uh, oh wait it's better if I go this way with this and you just go and you might end up with something that looks different from what you started no that's not looking right yeah that's more like it Okay. Cause like oh, what? 
I started with this. Look, where are we going? So I'm gonna be arguably the same character. <laughs> Sounds so much like Mario RPG music, like in a tower or something. Where did I hear that? Which one is that? Senior of Living Dolls. So I guess that's Alice theme. That looks weird. Snowflakes again? Something like this? A little bit like spread out. Hmm, and that does look right. That's looking more like a root system on a tree, right? Yeah, yeah that doesn't look right. 
more like brain cells or whatever. Now I'm about to do this another way. so hard to draw. Uh, it's because I'm stupid. Do I have an hexagon tool now? More like a turtle shell. I like it's a bunch of beetle. Or a beehive. Somewhere. But I know what I'm doing wrong. I was adding the glass to it. It's just gonna be a mesh of some kind. It's gonna be more like this. With each hexagon pretty much like the next to one another. And it's still doing the B thing. Or the shell thing. Because ice doesn't clump up like that. But if I do this. Start to look like a mess of lines. Does it? No, it's just like a, a some a mesh of some kind, but it doesn't look like 
any shape and if I actually painted it the proper way then it would look like you know ice crystals that everywhere it's actually gonna look okay so I'll just draw the outline of each crystal first for actually going into the detail and at first it's gonna look like some kind of shell A bunch of honeycombs. I have no idea what I'm so concerned with getting this right. from far away it's just gonna look like a, a little mess of lines Modern. It's kind of a waste. Uh, but I did it already on Marisa and removed Marisa's one. As little hearts, but little sores that end up. Heart shaped and it kind of repeats itself. Uh, the same thing with Green Moon, just a bunch of flower looking patterns that repeat over and over, but it forms a mesh. Marisa de Sahar, pelo Love Core Master Spark. Eu nunca vi mais são são as spells of something to do. Lotus flowers and stuff. So, I don't remember all of them by name because I'm not that hardcore of a true fan. I'm just a boring fake, fake fan. <laughs>
But Sheriff said she was gonna do something and then she just disappeared. Doesn't make sense if I the middle line there. Because then we have a bit of fabric that's just holding on to nothing. And that was looking more like a cube than a crystal. Okay, from far away it works. I probably should have done something that complicated. Probably should have done it on a second layer and just figure it over. Can't do that right now. That looks messed up. gonna save you so much time. No, because those are not perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, I do need to adjust that. Probably saves me more time when we do throwing the whole thing over again. But I can't really get the edges to line up correctly. Yeah, back at We can do this. Going forward, it's gonna go a little bit faster. Sitting here wondering if it will look good or not. Or if I do things in the right place or not.
both sides end up looking a little bit different. That just uh, adds to the charm of it, I guess. But like a low somebody made this with their own hands. Uh, we went there, I sat down, and scribbled away, and we got some hint of what they were happy with. And we thought about each line and detail and stuff, how to look like and stuff. It was maybe somebody who actually wanted to make something. the last thing where I make the canvas like grey so it's a little easier on your eyes while we're drawing especially because it's like really dark in here Extra lines that make it look like it's ice shards and not and not a beehive. And then both sides are gonna look the same. I managed to reorient myself, don't worry about it. I should probably look up if Jinsoku is like an actual place in Japan. Uh, now I think I heard, I heard it is. Uh, and the character is like 
vaguely based on sto stories from there. I mean, the two characters. For the most part. Uh, Zoom can get pretty wild with what, with what he uses inspiration for some of those. Okay, that's looking good. You gotta fix those sleeves. You gonna have to draw this whole bit. Oh, this sucks. The actual arms are alright. It just have shoulder and that net stuff. Probably all the way up here. And I thought that that's why you do the sketch first. Because it's way easier to fix things on a sketch when it is on the final drawing. So okay, the way this leaf is gonna cut off, it's definitely way up here, and it's gonna come out like this to go around the arm. So this is probably gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be over her, her chest like that. So it did goof up the shape of the entire shoulder. Because I forgot what I had done on this sketch. So it's gonna be the same thing on the other side. Oh yeah, now it looks more like her arms are coming out forward, so it doesn't look like they're it's just really short, is it? They look like they're the proper length. length. Uh, so the little separator that I usually draw is going to be very squished up, barely visible because of the angle and when the, the, the actual end of this leaf with the frills I'm gonna go around the arm like this and then I'm gonna draw all the little frills Again, <laughs> wonderful. Do sketches first, kids. Do your sketches first. Uh, I 
guess if I just do this, it's gonna look okay. No. But I actually do it those properly. Probably use a uh, brush that's too thick for a detail that small in such a cramped space. No, it's working. Yeah, no more uh, Satori Jihex arms. So we fixed it before it was too late and it was already posted to the social media and looking weird and people going do 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 I need to. Of course people are not gonna go. We're gonna see that on a repeat and just ignore it. <laughs> uh, if we actually see it on a repeat, people don't really bother commenting and stuff unless it's really good or really bad. It's like bad triggers an emotion and they actually had something to say. I'm just half huh, bit. So they actually uh, reply. If they do see it, because algorithms are kind of a bitch on a lot of platforms. So, like, if I'm gonna post something to draw, I shouldn't worry too much about what people are gonna say. Especially if it's not something that's like actual criticism. You just are, uh, oh, you suck. Okay, how does that help? Can you give me more detail why I suck? No, I can't tell you why you suck. So, okay, you don't, you don't know what you, you're talking about. You're just being mean. Like somebody looked at this and told me it sucked because it looked like her arms are too short. And then I looked at it and then I could actually look at it and see actually it looks like her arms are too short. And that would actually help me. I can actually agree with me that I suck. Almost done. As I said, she's still gonna have a skirt on top. We have a more normal looking version as well. And I will probably make this a little bit more transparent so I don't get the lines confused for now. And for this skirt, I can just Follow... Yeah, just follow the sketch. Well, down here is I'm gonna follow the sketch. Up here I'm just gonna follow the shape of her body.
uh, probably should add this outline in here so it's easier for me to color later. Because the selection tool is going to select pretty much everything. If I don't have a proper cutoff point, I mean, if I don't have a proper enclosed area. Do the little skirt frills. That does the, the come out from under her skirt. Like it's a it's a two layer thing going on. Maybe I should throw that a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Hurry up! Uh, I guess it could finish at least the line out and then next thing do the colors. Right. It looks kind of messy. Uh, no, from far away it works. And if I were to like... Yeah, 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 yeah. That works. Well, it's not Cernos' skirt without a little... 
the little snow peaks. <laughs> Icy mountains are full of glaciers. Because I have that idea of ice and cold and stuff in your mind, and when you see white triangles, or think about those things snow covered peaks and stuff. Face and basically in this stream because we, we did all the work of the line work. She has some really big eyelashes and big hounded out eyes. The big and really hound eyes is gonna give her this sort of cutesy vibe that she, she has going on. Even to most people, she, she's an un, a freaking annoying creature. Uh, she's gonna look somewhat cute. center uh, kind of uh, sir hair shape that's getting in my way yeah those bangs are uneven should be I think that one is gonna be a uh, something easier to fix I can probably just put those to the side and then just this
didn't really work. I guess I can just follow this sketch. She has a bigger head than the other two. Uh, yeah, that seems to be the case. Uh, no, 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 no. It's about the same. Let it somehow, somehow. It looks about the same. You heard thing because so no looks. In general, she's gonna look smaller when we marry some stuff. Smaller and younger. So if her eyes are a little bit too big, it's, it's fine. I don't put it. Cut them down somewhat. Yeah, that's looking nicer. that up after you get rid of or just junk. Bring her bangs down somewhat. I just make the band bigger. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much. They're almost covering her eyes. Zooming like characters with really long bangs. Uh, a lot of them seem to happen. The sketch is the shape of the bank that's kind of pucky. It should come down more like this.
that looks more even. Uh, but now one side looks thicker than the other, like significantly thicker. So let's just cut it here. Gonna look about the same. Yeah, that looks a little bit closer from the other to the other side. end late since I started late for well, about been six hours. I think I started almost a full hour later when I actually scaled it. So that's nice shows that I'm a very responsible person. I'm getting one hour late for something that is scale that I planned myself. Oh yeah, that's looking a little bit nicer. into the four smaller ones that they had before. What does that look like? That works. And we don't need this sketch anymore. That is going to have a tiny nose. And a little shit bit in green. <laughs> has to look like she is an annoying little gremlin that's gonna try to attack you if you get too close to her leg one better. Looks more confident. I sort of give the gremlin energy. I just uh, so technically I do need to give her eyebrows by her like pass over her hair. I'm 
don't usually do that. It's not something. I didn't do that on the others. I don't really think that makes much sense either. But really it's just the important thing is that it doesn't look like that. Oh no, the other two characters I drew. So I'm just gonna throw in her... Her eyebrows where they would be pretty much mostly hidden. Under her banks. on it too low. I see wings. How is she gonna fly without her wings? And yeah, no biggie. to do She has three sets. She has three pairs of ice crystal forming her wings. And well, that's probably very the same size because it makes sense there. And it looks more like a wing. Sometimes I use the other art of Cerno, she has the three ice crystals are different sizes. Hey! 
I should actually move those to another layer because I'm gonna need to make it more transparent later. Check out this magic trick. We're gonna take one wing, rotate it, put closer to her body, and it's a position that makes some sense. And right here. Do the same thing for the next bit of her wing. Should probably move to south a little more outwards. Further down. Mm, doesn't really work. I got the right shape, I think a bit. I mean, it goes too small. Yeah, it should be more like that. Okay, the lines are too thick now. What can I do about this? Oh, I know. No, that was a bit too much. Easier to do those strokes to make them look the way we should now. God damn it.
uh, that one seems to have been fixed. Next one. Yeah, that seems about right. Bam! She has wings now. And that's it, we finished the line art for Cerno. Ow! Motherfuck! And now it's fuck out in the morning, so I guess I gotta end this thing. Oh wait, I have Maris uh, uh, avatar, so let's pass this spark to play. I love Coral Marge, that's not Marge the Spark. So, uh, yeah, we got that much done. So, for next stream, we're gonna do all the coloring and shading on this. It's looking pretty good so far. Maybe not as much as a piece of shit as I think I am. That's a very different looking Cerno, so there's at least that. Somewhat original. At least got credit on that. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Or tonight. It's so Usually Saturday. And I do have the next train scheduled for tomorrow already. If I can find it somewhere here. I think it only shows on the channel page, <laughs> if I'm not live. Oh, that. I actually gotta finish before the song ends. Yeah, it's gonna show later. Uh, it's gonna start around the same time as it did today. 
Not sure if I'm actually gonna play more of this something so could be before I go live or not. Uh, the time on the schedule should be 7 p.m. on Greenwich Meridian time minus 3, GMT minus, minus 3. Because I'm living in the middle of Hong Kong, but yeah, 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 yeah. 7 p.m. GM3 minus 3, the actual schedule is gonna show up. Uh, right down here on the stream, on the channel description stuff. And I'm gonna add the colors and stuff, so that's gonna be it. Thank you everybody who dropped by, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye! Close this off. Bye.